the warmest of welcomes to you. We await the conclusion of the pre-game formalities. I'm Peter Drury and this is Jim Beglin. Glad to be here, Peter, and I'm ready to rumble. say Ezekiel Garay. Uh, keep an eye on the centre-back's composure on the ball and his confidence in distributing it from the back and if given enough time he'll step forward and, and drive their momentum. Yeah, I must agree, especially in view of his ability to lead and organise the defence. Towering header! Has a pop! Saved only by poor finishing. Well, that was worth the effort, I mean, it was a long way out, but he caught it so well. Oh, this has been such a positive approach from them in the early part of this game. Everybody is programmed to get forward, and despite a couple of failed attempts, they are the better side. Looks like a good ball through. The shot's on! And he's done it! Oh, my goodness, that has ripped the rigging. That is just the top drawer finish. He was always in control and couldn't have placed it any better. Deadlock broken, it's 1-0. We know they're in control now, but they can't let their concentration drop, not one bit. The right. So, they got the only goal to give them a 1-0 lead. Fenders on the back foot. It's a loose ball. Danger averted for now position to make that interception. Cochrane. Well, it's a score line to raise the eyebrow. 1-0 to the underdogs. It's come loose. Polk. Pumps it forwards. Acknowledges that he should have come up with something better there. I timed this run brilliantly, and I think he has every right to be a little annoyed with, with the passer then, and I think he's letting him know right now about that. Just a little more behind it was needed. Forward it goes. Great run this, he's covered quite a distance. Oh, that's neat. Over it comes. Who's ball? Who's going to get there? Kokorin can hoist it clear. Garay did well to step in there. That was more than necessary. Vitzel. Pichito. Kokorin. Vitzel. And it's Pichito. 
That'll be the last act of the first half. Well, that certainly pleased the fans, and the players are definitely happy with that scoreline. The question is now, can they protect it? Leading a cagey game here. It's had its moments, and it's 1-0 at the break. And we're off again. Well, 1-0 may be good enough, so they may err on the side of caution and, and get more players behind the ball instead of running beyond it. They could even try to, to spoil it from here, we'll see. Now the pass. A oh, glorious footwork. Ball's loose, who's getting there? Cochrane. So still just a goal between them. And the ball's come loose and the chase is on. Ball's loose and he's after it. He's going to have to tune his rangefinder before the next one. Danny. Well, it did look promising to start with, but in the end they were thwarted before they could even make it into the final third. Is it in? Well, he couldn't get hold of it. I think he's done very well to get into such a good position in front of the goal, but he just couldn't put in the telling touch. Witzel. Hulk. Danny. Who's loose, who's getting there? Passes it through. Hulk! Oh, the ball's come loose! Out on the left now. Tries a through ball. Now here's the through ball. Gets up to head it. She was well picked out. Just needed a better finish. Look, there'll be no complaints at all with quick service like that. It's so difficult to defend when the ball comes in so swiftly. But you can't question the finishing in this instance. I think though there's enough grounds for them to keep working at it. It's anyone's ball. Looks to slip it through. No mistake. And that should do it. Within sight of the finish line. So that goal then. Well, his most important job there was to keep the shot down, and he did that without any problems. That's good concentration, you know. Lombards, who's going to make this theirs? Good run down the left, what can they make of it? Aim forward. Tries a through ball. He's through. down the tunnel, swathed in satisfaction. His team have carried out his instructions to the word, and they have got their win. How would you sum up what we've witnessed, Jim? Listen, there was a real concentration on wider attacking outlets, and they got their tactics spot on. They found a vulnerability and played on it to the full. It was clever and superbly executed. Another point I can make is that the foundations for this win were placed near both touchlines because they were able to build 
attack after attack with little resistance. Well, that's it for tonight's match. So it just remains for me to thank Jim Beglin alongside me and to wish you all a very good evening.